Hello and welcome to Amados Technology LTD. My name is Ados Michael. Well, there is a doctor right now, so my name is Dr. Michael Ados. How are you doing today? I hope this video is meeting you in a very good condition and I'm sure you're doing great. No matter the economy, no matter what is going on in the country, I wish you well always and I pray that God who is in heaven will bless all of our hustle. Well, today is actually a Gmail video that I'm trying to create. I discovered that I have these particular emails that I have tried over time, maybe, you know, uh, you know, try to subscribe to some platforms, try to, you know, give out my emails to a lot of platforms. So before you know what's happening, I'm getting so spammy. Yeah, there's a spam and there is also an inbox and you can see here I'm having around uh, 2598 so if you know you are someone who usually gets this kind of emails so many emails you just be seeing so much you don't even know how to go about it uh, 2059 then you know definitely there's gonna be a problem so you need to you know take it off and wash it off but you know the normal conventional way of doing it is just to start saying mm, let me go through this i delete go through this i delete or you just select all of them and say you want to just delete so how many will how many will you do to take this guy off and every single line that you have is just 20 right i think it's uh um let me know i think it's uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's like about 40 that you get in one row. So if you have 40 in one row, so you start deleting 40, start deleting 40, start deleting 40, you know, it's gonna take forever. So, and if you also have spam, your spam, if you wanna check a spam message, your spam message is always around the more. You click on more, you scroll down, you see spam. Now on this, my email, I have just 12 spam. Mostly, uh, maybe when, um, platforms that are also just want to subscribe so you can get them so you can also delete them i have other i just wash off other ones that has close to like four thousand three thousand over time so it's a very simple thing for you to clean up your uh what they call it your gmail account because everything that you do on your gmail account is also affecting your google drive so if you go to google drive from this platform you can see the size and your size look at okay so on here right now i'm supposed to have a free 15 gig which is normally what they give you but so far so good because all those stuff i don't have much here like you can see i don't have much uh here these are just items for services that i do uh but you can see that i've eaten one gig out of this already and if i go to order my emails you can see also that i've eaten so many so the most important thing is for you to look for how to clean this up. Now, Gmail has made it easy for everybody to do this, but it's like many of us don't even know, uh, don't even know how to do that. There's a lot of things you can go to your settings. On the settings section, you can actually go there and you can actually, you know, re change a lot of things you want to change. You want to focus on labelings, inbox, accounts, import, so many things you want to do. You want to add emails to have an um, email by other emails from you know maybe from your websites customized emails so many things you can do but today we want to focus on how we can take care of the spam messages that is here all this so much uh, i don't know how to start deleting them and also focus on these messages and also the one also for spam so now what we we'll do is quickly go up here you see this very particular section here it looks like normal settings section in other platforms but look at it here uh, so you just need to click it now, when you click it, there's a there's good thing about this. You can choose to want to say, I want to check an email that I'm that is coming from a particular person. That if you know the email, that will be easy, okay. But if you go down a little bit, you see that you can choose to say, okay, you know what, I want to actually check emails that are greater than a particular size of MB or keybytes or bytes. So you can actually say you want to check the less okay of the mbs or the keybytes or also the bytes so all that you can do you can even go as far as say, okay you want to filter um, uh, messages by day 
So you can see uh, the messages that is from one day or one year. You can also do that. You can also choose the dates. You can do that. It's a very simple thing. You can even say, okay, yeah, I am just looking for messages that are only on my inbox. I'm looking for the stead, the sent, the draft, the chat, the spam, the trash, anyone. You can actually check also by filtering these particular sections. Now, but what I want to do right now is this guy's yeah, but I know that the only one that will give me these very particular numbers are on red message, which means the message where I never read. That is what you will see here. Okay, so let me break it down so that we understand it very well. This particular section that messages will be say, I never read. Now I make and get this plenty of particular stuff we see here. Now, the one way there for this very particular section are the ones we'll be saying as spam. Probably, uh, I don't subscribe for one platform one time like that, but Gmail don't see them like, this guy is not spam. So each time they, they send the email, they will send them go this very section. So that's why they call it spam. Or they don't understand the way the email be. So they will just decide to say, you know what, let's just carry it and also just put them somewhere there. And if you look, those messages too, you go no say, yes, true, true. These messages not be messages where they really, some of them not really come from the right source. Like if I go to the spam section, on the spam section now you can see uh you can actually see that see this very particular one where i get he come from one guy say he say dear beneficiary i am mr samuel Eke, the managing director slash chief executive officer of unity bank for africa nigeria i write to inform you that we have received an instruction from united nation headquarters new york city united state i receive an instruction to an authorized letter to compensate 250,000 scam victims from USA, Europe, Canada, United Arab Emirates, and also, uh, <laughs> oh God of Israel, look at me, back and stop here. Then let's go straight to the meta way in talk about, now talk about compensation. I'm not telling you, say they don't scam me before, brother, and I'm not telling you, say I need any compensation. Notes, we have arranged arrange your payments through ATM, MasterCard, and this will be issued on your name and it shall be posted directly to your address by the courier service available in your country upon your contact with us. The sum of 10,500. Hey, hey, I wish this is not true. <laughs> but these are many of the scams that you receive. So things like this, what Google does, they filter it and they you know put it in spam because they know this is not real. So a lot of stuff like that are here. So what you do is when you go up here, you actually you can even also if you feel like ah I want the one way get also attachment, you click up. Uh, I want the one way no way way, way includes chat. In, so it's a very very broad system that is just you know built a little bit here that you can actually do that. So what I want to do now is I will choose to say you know what uh, the ones will be on red. Look at this one here yeah, on red one. So which means every of this ones will be on red. I will now say such. Now, what, why it's simple and easy is if you go back here and say you want to check next, next, next. So now, like I've seen this one's on red. If I go to the next page, you see that also there. But if you go to the next page now, you can see say nothing there here. And if you go to the next one, you can see say nothing there here. So you go to look at where are those on red. You go begin this. You know they go next, next. It's just waste of time. So this is just the most easier. You just go up here, go to on red. Um, so you go here. So I choose this guy. Now, what thing I go do only very simple now, just to you know, click search. Now, when I click search now, every of the unread messages, see, if you go next, next, you go now them go full everywhere. If you go next, 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 so all you need to do is once you actually get it, you don't need to be clicking next. Just go straight here one more time. Go to the here and search the one unread Ravi email. So I click search. Sorry, I just like, you know, going to breaking it down to broken English because I want to carry everybody along. You know, most times I, you know, getting feedback from students and, 
you know, when you point them to YouTube or to any platform for them to go and get, you know, step by step or tips or tricks, you know, they keep saying, uh, you know, the way they speak this English is too fast for them. It's too this. Even though YouTube have done good job, you know, in trying to see how to give you access to slow down videos on YouTube. If you're watching any YouTube, let me show you this on YouTube. I'm at Gmail or oh, the same Papa and the same Mama, so no problem. So it's still the same video. Now I am watching this. Uh, let me say I'm watching this um, full match here. Now this full match now that I'm watching here. So, so let me uh, put this up. So now I am watching this video. Let me um, go finish this very particular advert. All right. So now. All I need to do is on this section here, on the setting here, now there are play speed. See it here under the setting, there's play speed. You click on the play speed. There is a normal, okay, and also there is this frame ones you can actually take. So this normal now would be exactly the way the person is talking, okay? So maybe uh, let me look for tutorial. This is just, um, uh, let me look for, let's say, computer computer let me just look for something that is a tutorial okay so uh, here says what is so let me go for this guy so let me see this okay so okay so now this is the speed so let me reduce the speed now Okay, now see now let me break it down again. You see, you see the way it's slow now? Normal. Reduce by point seventy five. Reduce by 0 0.5. So now the good thing there is, while you complain that ah, it's the guy, the, the white guy is too fast or the instructor is too fast, no, YouTube has also made it easy for you to be able to control the speed of the talk. I am also a fast talker. Uh, okay, I must admit with that, I talk very fast. So, but the good thing is, as I am talking. Let me even go to one of my videos so that you understand what I'm saying. It's something that we, most times we really don't like, you know, just stretching ourselves to want to, you know, you know, do more and understand more. But it's a very simple thing that I think we should always do. Uh, live stream. Let me see which of the video will I just play here. Uh, let me see. Let me go to some video that. Um, let me go, 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 let me go. Which one will I go for? Which one will I go for? Um, don't worry, I'm using style to advertise my videos, okay? <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Okay, so let me just open this one. Okay. So, that's not how I'm talking. So, let me go back and, you know, bring this video to us in and what, and I left it here. So, bring it back to normal. So, look at how I talk normally. So, reach out to those professional clients, tell them from the end clients. Okay. So, that's how I talk, right? Okay, now let's reduce the speed now. So, we'll go to, let's say, 0 0.5. 0 point, 0 0.75, sorry. For you today, I'm so we can also do what take it to what 0 0.5 now see so now the idea is there is no way there is no way yeah? so you see the way i talk i talk fast so now there's no way you will want to you know say ah you don't understand the person so you can actually just drop back the speed of the speech and you understand so if you don't understand, like you know if you're this kind of person that uh someone talking fast you don't really understand what they're saying you can just slow it down 
So it, it will be based on your level of assimilation. You could just enter small, small for you. Yeah, the video will now be a little bit longer, but you also have the opportunity to understand vividly, step by step, every bracket of whatever discussion or whatever training or whatever tips or tricks that is taking place, you can understand. So I just felt you should know that because I don't know if it is okay, you know, for me breaking it down and also, you know, taking it up. I don't know. So I just want to just carry everybody along. So I hope that was a little bit um, a clarity for you guys. Okay. So now we just go straight. We've chosen this process. So let me give you one more time because I've said a lot. Maybe you might not understand, even though I would have preferred you to rewind it back so that you can also take your time to watch the video and increase me the watch view. You know, every single time you're actually trying to, you know, come up with an idea on a particular script that you want to do for a video, you have to put in mechanism in place where you want to capture uh success at the end of the day so what i mean by success at the end of the day i'm talking about income because the good thing is the video that i'm doing right now was supposed to ordinarily be less than 5 10 15 minutes no let me just say 10 minutes as a whole no matter how i will waste my time talking but me over stretching taking you out bringing you in taking you this is for me to be able to keep you watching my video so that i can have more viewers <laughs> more views and also you know making sure that you rewind and go back but come on don't mind me all i just want to do is i feel everybody that is actually watching my video is also a youtuber someone who is a potential youtuber someone who also wish to want to also know how he can or she can start making money with youtube it's a very cool process and a cool journey you can watch out of my videos you'll see the processes and also there are a lot of great men and women who has put up a nice content on also these processes you can just search through youtube and you will be welcome into the youtube community platform all right so let's go straight to the video i move here okay all i want to do is to make sure i take off all these guys i click here i come down to i search i will say okay i want the ones that are on red okay so i click this then i click what search now it gives me everybody here so all i need to do i can click select all okay now <clears throat> now see uh sorry i told you it's 40 but sorry it's 50 look at it here for each page that is 50 that you have here but you can decide to say i want to select all the conversation that matches this search i say yes all now we've selected all of them now you have the opportunity to say you want to, you know, just click this three dots here and say you want to mark all of them as read, which means every single 2,598 will be marked as already read. So which means you now have these very particular uh, numbers on your inbox, it will all be cleared, okay? So you can do that. You can decide as well to say, you know what, I want to delete them. It's totally up to you. If you delete, it reduces the load that you have. But if you feel, ah, there might be a lot of, you know, uh, emails that I would like to want to take my time to go through them and see if I still need them or I don't need them, that I will delete them. It's totally up to you. If you click this delete here, it will take off everything. Now, I am just like you also because I also feel I have some of the emails that i have not read and i have not really go you know take my time to go through them to see if it's something that i want or i don't want so i will not delete i will click as mark as read but if i click delete 2598 will poof will just go so it's totally up to you but i i am of the opinion that i will prefer in case you have not read some of those vid um, mails you might want to take your time but you just want to filter and just clean the inbox so that it should not just be crowded with so much anytime you've done going through the emails you can be deleting as you're going through it i like this or i've seen what i want to see you want to reply all that you can do then you delete anyone you want to do is totally up to you so i want to mark as what read so I do that. So it's going to say, send you a pop-up, confirm bug action. This action will affect all conversation in this search. Are you sure you want to continue? I say, yes, I want to continue. Then I click this. Don't mind me, okay? 
so now it will buckley take away every of the 2598 unread emails and it will mark them as you have read them so right now you will see all of them what did you have there zero nothing everything is cleared so now your inbox is fresh like a new bomb baby so right now you can actually go back to the more section you remember i told you if you want to go to the more section what you do there you can see so many things there as well but this particularly one is for the spam so when i click on this spam right now this spam as well you can also do something about it now what can you do now instead of you just trying to say you want to delete them because if you also delete them they will also come again so what you want to do is to actually maybe create a label where you keep them somewhere knowing fully well that every particular one coming there on that label are actually not welcome on your inbox so you just go again cancel this then go again to filter now when you go to filter you click on uh you can actually just say um, the label aspect here uh we actually have uh just say this section is also supposed to be filled all I need to do is to say, uh, what can I call it right now? Let me say, should I say subscribe? Uh, so let's say sub subscribe. Okay, so I feel that the subscribe are those platforms that you went to subscribe one time and probably since then you might not be really liking what you subscribed for or so so now we've given a subject and what we want to do is to click a filter now when you click a filter you see what it's saying when a message is an exact match for your search criteria skip to what archive it mark as read so you're seeing that the good thing about this label right now that you have created or you about to create right now is giving you access to be able to you know control what and how that particular email that will be coming in to actually act it's going to skip to inbox mark as read okay now if i'm marking it as read which means i will not be having that much of numbers of emails that i've not read so you can mark them as unread anyone that is actually coming from this subscriber so you can say yes i want to mark it as read so read already so which means i don't need it to be piling for me you can start it you can apply this label to new label anything you want to do you can actually do that forward it to where if you want delete it immediately if you want you can say okay anything of this kind of message that's coming just delete it immediately i don't want it again never send to spam if you don't need to send to spam just delete that you can do uh always mark it as important mm -hmm. so now what this is meaning is i can whatever label that i'm giving here i want to actually make sure that the label that is there is actually for a purpose and the purpose is going to also be working based on what i'm choosing here if i said i want these emails that is on such kind of label you know i can say um, uh, um, um let me say clients for example i can say in uh, any particular email coming from clients i want you to mark it as always what's important and i also want you to put it on inbox i want you to do this i can choose to tell it however i want it to actually act so everything here it is so categorize you can actually choose category i want it to be on the primary i want it to be on this 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 i want it to just be so you can choose uh it's a promotional email no it's an email from a forum no it's an update no it's a this that you can choose the category that you want and also apply filter to two matching conversation depending on what you want here that you can actually do okay you can choose to say okay what i want to apply this label the label i will give it is subscriber so that's what we've chosen right subscriber so that's what we're giving it so this is for a subscriber then uh i just don't need to put any notes if i want to put note i can put so now i've created a filter now that subscriber filter right now it's already somewhere also here waiting so i said okay fine filter now what i choose was mark as red which means it's not going to be increasing for me and i put out the label and i said immediately and i just delete it i don't even want it to be there just delete so i said okay fine now i already have a label that is already created okay 
it's there also look at it subscriber is here already so next time after i clean this up anyone coming in should go there and already i said not to just go there just delete it so it will now stop giving me spam then also not also gonna be of course inside there it's not gonna be spamming me because i want to choose those that are spam let it go in there but also i've given it a command that even though i have created a label but i want every email that is supposed to go in there let it also not be showing that it's not read yet and also let it be deleted if i'm fast remember i've taught you also how you can slow down my speech so that you can actually understand it bit by bit and <laughs> i'm not going to do break it down again to broken english is still gonna be me speaking so let's go now we went for filter so spam right so now we have it so next time everything goes in here not going to be showing that it's not red and also will be deleted now for this young man here or young man here what we go to do is to just go straight select all all right okay and if you want maybe because you don't want uh, but i already have already given instructions so i don't need to worry about anything then you can also just go up here all right now here is saying i select everything here yes all 13 and all is gone now all of them is phew, deleted so all i need to do is to just clean up everything here i cannot take my time and also do what go and also do what start um, you know taking my time to start going through them one at a time and i can choose to delete them if i want to delete them so this is a very simple way for you to be able to clean up your uh gmail account remember the gmail account is connected to your google drive and you have a google drive it's piling up space piling up space which is not really good and your spam also need to be controlled telling them what to do where to go and what also to so your email should be very very neat and very very clean so you can be safe so the hackers cannot also penetrate by putting all the dungeon into your emails account make you go mistake click go click up oh before you know what's in they happen oh you start calling dr Anders michael please help somebody has hacked my email i will charge you and bill you big big money okay i want to hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like give a thumbs up Drop a comment also on the comment section and I will surely definitely reply and also see how I can help. Even if you want me to create any kind of videos you want, I could do that for you. Sure. No fee attached. Please, until I come away again next time, I see remain your one and only the online ambassador, Dr. Michael Ados. Bye for now.